there are people that say, well, yeah, the Rockets won the two championships when Jordan wasn't in the league, and so we don't know how they would do. My estimation, though, is that you guys would have been particularly a bad matchup for the Bulls because what were they going to do about Hakeem Olajuwon? They just had no answer there. Does it bother you when people say, yeah, but the Rockets won when Matt, when Michael wasn't there? Yeah, it, it sure does bother me because when Michael Jordan came back that second year and had 55 in the guard, nobody wasn't saying nothing about that. When he came back, he went in the guard and had 55. And you had a good Orlando team that just happened to beat them. Oh, Michael Jordan didn't play the whole season. Michael Jordan was playing that year, that second year. So I don't want to hear those excuses. And if you watch our Clutch City documentary, Michael Jordan said, I'm glad these guys can't come out the West because we have no matchup for 34. I think both of those guys were at the top of their game. You know, Jordan and Elijah Wong, both of those guys were great players. You listen to Jordan, you know, Jordan, what's your what's your top starting five? The first guy he picks is Elijah Wong. You know, this is, to me, Jordan is the best ever, you know, to ever put on some shoes, no doubt about it. But that number 34 wasn't no slouch either, you know. So I felt with our bigs, with, with no matchup with Elijah Wong, you had myself. You had Vernon. We had guys. Maybe that's not going to stop Michael Jordan, that, but that could make him work and earn, you know, earn his third. You know, and him and him and Vernon, man, used to go at it all the time. Yeah, that's the one guy Michael Jordan says, man, this dude's a competitor, and I was sort of the same type of competitor like Vernon. So Jordan's going to score. He's great. We know that. But at least if myself and Vernon were on him, he was going to have to work for every 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 point. Yeah, and, you know, particularly you guys had veterans that were feisty, that were confident, that were headstrong, you, Vernon, et cetera, that could match up well mentally with the Bulls who like to intimidate people. And then how were they possibly going to slow down Hakeem? I mean, in a lot of ways, you you guys might have been the worst matchup for them in many ways. I mean, they, they battled against Ewing and stuff, and, and Ewing was very, very good at that time as well. But I don't know how they would have done against you guys. I think, in fact, it would have been a bad matchup for them. Yeah, you know, you got Robert Ory at 6'10". You know, I thought he could have matched up pretty good with uh, with Scotty. And then you got Otis Thor, Paul Herrera, who were great big men for us, who, who were vital to our run to the finals. I don't know who would have. Horace Grant? I would take Otis Thor and Paul Herrera over Horace Grant. I think the only matchup, to, you know, was Michael Jordan, maybe Scotty Pippen. But all the other three spots, I felt we were better. So I was hoping we would get a chance to play against Michael, you know, but we didn't get a chance to. But, you know, we're the champions. You know, we won back-to-back championships. So that, that people can't take that away from us. 